My name is Judy Pancos, and I would like to introduce you to my 2004 Toyota Sienna, the Orca 2. Yes, that big loud sound you hear is coming from the Orca 2. This is the sound of her dying. And I'm very, very sad about it, so I have decided to record this tribute to my van. I bought her brand new in 2004. I'm a musician and I needed a reliable van that would get me from show to show, carry all my equipment, my dancers, my family, everything. And since that time, I wanna show you how many miles I've put on her. 601,732 miles. Yes, you are reading that right. 601,732 miles on my baby. She's a little worse for the wear on the inside. I got this in Roswell, New Mexico many years ago and it has kept me company. This is a present my friend gave me when I was going on my last Christmas tour across the country. There's the sheep and the other sheep, Lamb Chop, who keep me company on my trips. My kids grew up in these back seats and way in the back there is all of the space for my equipment. With this van, I have been to 48 contiguous United States and Canada and Mexico. I have driven many of those miles on my own during Christmas time when I have traveled from the houses to along the tour route to the houses of people who use my music in their displays. I have a song called The House on Christmas Street that is used in many decorators' displays. And I've done many, many charity concerts at the homes of decorators all over the country, from Florida to Washington, from California to Maine, all over the place. Um, in addition to the summer tours that I've done. And I wanna show you some of the places that we've been because I made these um, these frames. So South Dakota, that's the <laughs> prairie dog farm in South Dakota with my kids. North Dakota, Indiana, Kansas, Illinois, the Mary Ground Museum in Ohio, Missouri. My daughter's name is Emma, so she had to stop and take wait to take a picture of that. Michigan, that's the Motown Museum and uh, the Mall of America in Minnesota when they were releasing one of the Harry Potter novels at Barnes and Noble and they were having a big thing. So um, we went to that big thing. And then we have also been to all the New England states, of course, I live in New Hampshire, so Connecticut, New Jersey isn't a New England state, that's at um, Six Flags in New Jersey, Vermont, and Maryland, that's where I was doing a show. We went to see the Edgar Allan Poe National Historic Site in Pennsylvania, but it was closed. My kids were very upset, but that's okay because we went to Poe sites in Virginia, and I'm, I can't remember where the other one was, but there was another one. Of course, New York, my daughters live there now, so I've gone back and forth there many times. Storyland in New Hampshire, Maine, that's um, on, a, on uh, Mount Desert Island, Acadia National Park. Uh, Massachusetts, we went down to Salem during Halloween time. And then, uh, well, Hawaii, we didn't go there in the van, <laughs> but that's in here. Um, also have been to Utah and Idaho and the giant redwoods in Northern California and Colorado, the Rocky, Rocky Mountains, the giant big skies of Wyoming, Montana, Oregon, that's Crater Lake. Um, I think I went through all of this. For some reason, I can't find the frame that I did the American Southwest in, uh, but here we have Florida, Alabama, Tennessee, the king of rock and roll, we went to Graceland, uh, North Carolina and Louisiana, that's in New Orleans. Uh, we went to South Carolina and Mississippi and Georgia. We went to the Georgia Music Hall of Fame and also the Natural Bridge in Virginia and West Virginia. And uh, of course we've been to Texas and we've been to New Mexico and Arizona, we've been to the Grand Canyon, we've been to so many national parks, we've been to the Everglades National Park, Acadia National Park in Maine, Death Valley National Park, uh, we've seen the Rocky Mountains, the Smoky Mountains, the Blue Ridge Mountains, we've driven on the Blue Ridge Parkway together, and as I said, a lot of these things uh, I've done alone, uh, done with my family, but the winter trips have always been on my own. I sleep better in this van than I sleep in my own bed. 
but now the, my mechanic tells me she needs uh, over two thousand dollars worth of work and he says even though the original engine is still running great you know he says he's not sure that he would put the money into it to uh, to keep repairing it but I was so happy when we went over 600,000 miles I just I stopped and and did a Facebook live in the parking lot of a McDonald's I love this van so much and I, I just want to thank the people at Toyota for making such a fantastic van that I've spent 15 years of my life in and all these hours and just had so much fun and, and so many adventures in this van and uh, I wrote a little song for her that I'm gonna sing to you now for 15 years and 600,000 miles we roam this land saw a million smiles from door to door and shore to shore and you never have failed me my orca go places did Toyota say and go we went down the roads and highways you sailed on through store snow, snow and storms I felt safe in your arms my orca 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 too how I've loved my journey through life with you it's so hard to say goodbye when we've sailed so far my orca and one last thing uh, why did i name her the orca too well jaws is my all-time favorite movie and like quince both the orca she's old she's beat up but she still kept on sailing up until recently so this is my tribute to my van that I love so much, and I just wanted to share it all with you. Happy New Year, everybody.